Yes, auntie. Go. After you unpack your things, come and join us to eat dinner. Yes, I will. How was there, did you? No, I'm still packing my things after my service. Go ahead and finish that and keep after. Noah is an only child and his parents played when he was young. His mother is the one who takes care of his family. Eight years ago, Noah woke up from his rest when he heard his parents fighting again. He, he thought to go out and get some air while walking without a direction. He ended in a place he had never been before, and then he met a guy who was the same age as him. Whenever his parents are fighting, he goes to that place and meets up. In the end, they become friends. Huh? Yes, Mom. <laughs> oh, Noah. You're here. Come and sit. Oh. I'm fine. I just recently graduated and planning to go for a vacation. Said you're going to study abroad. Oh. Yes. How long are you going to stay there? I don't know. Maybe until I finish college or maybe I stay there for good. Are you going to? Computer engineering. You know what? Just back to his room to continue a path his clothes and get home. Rest after that, while continuing unpacking his clothes, his phone suddenly rang and then he picked it up. It was his friend, Lucas and Mario. What's up, man? Want to join us? We're planning to play on a game until midnight. Oh, I need to take a rest. I want to meet someone tomorrow. Oh, your friend that you always talk about? It's been a year. Since we've been talking to each other. The next day, Noah go to that place, the place he used to hang out with Gab. While heading there, he see figure standing in front of a tree. And he asked that. Excuse me? The guy suddenly startled when he hear a voice from his back. And he surprised when he looked to that direction. Who are you? It's me, Gab, your friend. We used to hang out here when we were young. Oh, Gab. Long time no see. Yeah, long time no see too. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, do you remember? Or what? The promise? Yeah, I remember. Oh, I have to go. Maybe Auntie Millie waiting for me. Okay, see you again. See you. When Noah get home, straight to his room and he sit on his room while sitting he remember gab said about the promise actually he don't remember the promise that they made the next day noah go to that place the place he used to hang out with gab while heading there he see figure standing in front of a tree and he asked that hi hi what brings you here just get some air how about you? Me too, getting some fresh air. When Noah just back home straight to his room, he sat on his room while sitting, he remembered Gab said about the promise. Actually, he don't remember the promise that they made. Noah go back again to the place while trying to figure out the promise while thinking that when he suddenly started when someone talking from behind. Where is Gab? Why did you not see him? You don't know Gab died six years ago? Or what? Does your mom didn't tell you? When Noah go to his auntie's house, he immediately went to his room and sat on his chair. While sitting there, he remembered of what Gab said to him recently and then. He planned to go back to that place and try to remember the promise that they keep. Noah, what's wrong? Why do you call many times? I didn't pick up because I was on the bathroom. Mom, why didn't you tell me? About what? About Gab! Why you never tell me that she dead? Because I don't want you to stress out again. Okay. I'm sorry, I will explain it to you when you come back. After Noah talked to his mom about that, Gab, why you never tell me from the start? 
Why did you lie to me? And why didn't you never tell me about the truth? I was shot on that day. That was the first time someone saw me after I died. But I want to know if you remember the promise. Then, after Noah confessed that he doesn't remember the promise on that day, but then after they spent their time together, he managed to remember it. The promise that they keep is that if they met again in that place, they will read the letter to each other that they wrote before they separated. Noah? Yes.